Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my Finish 18 in 2018 intro. I'm super ecstatic. I'm a little nervous because I've never tried to pan 18 items all at once. Um, I mean, I do have a year to do it, so I'll be very excited if I get these items out of my collection. So let's get started. The first item I'm including is my Lise Watcher Honeymoon Palette. Now I will be doing separate updates for these in my Pan That Palette videos, but I figured I would still include this as one of my 18 because if I can finish this, I think it deserves to be counted as one. So that's how it looks right now, but uh, I won't get too in depth over this because like I said, there will be separate video for this. The second item I'm including is my Garnier BB Cream. This is the Skin Renew in Light. Now, I haven't marked anything, or I haven't marked much yet. Um, some items did get marked um, a couple days ago. But uh, it's pretty much full. It's pretty heavy, and the packaging is kind of hard to tell, but um, I'll do my best to mark it here after I'm done recording. But I'm pretty sure it's pretty much full. So it's just getting old. It's not by a cruelty-free company, so I just want to move it out of my collection and it's not something I reach for, so I'm hoping this will give me a good push. The third item I'm including is the Pure Minerals Skin Perfecting, no, sorry, Pure Radiance. It is supposed to be an all-over powder, but as you can very clearly see, I'm sure there's a lot of shimmer. Not a huge fan of it. It sat in my collection for quite a while now, like a couple years, and I just want to get this used up. So I anticipate I'll be probably using this more as a highlighting shade rather than an all over powder. All right, the next item is another very old item. You'll notice a pattern here. It is the Beauty Rush by Victoria's Secret Lip Gloss. Unfortunately, I don't know what shade it is. <laughs> it's a very, very bright pink. It is very full. I swore I would never do another squeezy tube lip gloss after attempting to pan the Sephora gloss, but reality is it's old and I want to use it up. And unless I put it in a project, I'm probably never going to finish it. So this is kind of my last ditch effort to get this out of my collection. And then we've got a lipstick by Dalton. I don't know the color name, unfortunately. This was part of a set where the corresponding gloss hooked into the bottom and that had all the information, which I panned not too long. Well, I didn't pan it, but I finished it not too long ago. So this is what's remaining. It looks pretty gross. Um, it was getting those, like it was starting to sweat and it's not bad but it looked really weird. And so I tried to take a toothpick and smooth it out, which I think I made it worse. So <laughs> it's just not looking very pretty. It's getting old. I just wanna get it out. This was an item in one of my previous project pans. I was unable to reach my goal on it, but it is the Revlon Chatty Cherry Lip Palette. Now, I'm pretty sure the progress that's on there already was accomplished in about a month because I believe I rolled this into a project and I was only working on it for the last month. Um, so that gives me kind of a good amount of hope that I'll be able to finish this up if I give myself a year to do it. I'm hoping it won't take the whole year, obviously, because I want to work on some other items as well. But uh, I just, yeah, <laughs> I want it gone. Then we've got my Glamouflage by Hard Candy Heavy Duty Concealer. This is in medium light. Another item that is pretty full. I can squish it down a little bit, but there's still a lot of product in here. I'm not a huge fan of this. It's getting old, etc., etc., etc. You've heard me say it before. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this will take me close to the full year, though, because I can't use a lot of it at once. Then we've got a lip gloss by MAC. Uh, this was given to me by Ashley. It's the Dazzle Glass Cream, uh, Lightly Prancing. Now, it's a pretty nice, neutral, shimmery lip gloss, so that should be easy enough to use. The one thing that I really hate about it at this point is the brush is 
pretty gross. <laughs> like, it's pretty messed up at this point. So, I don't know if I can fix the brush. If you know of, like, can I trim those sticky out bits? I feel like I've done that before. Um, let me know if you have any tips on how to fix that brush because I feel like the gloss is not unusable, but I just don't reach for it because I hate using it with that brush. It gets little bits all over. And so, yeah, but I need to use it up. So including that. Then we've got another item from a previous project pan. This is Charm by Maybelline. No, CoverGirl. And not a whole lot left at this point. I do like using this as a cream blush as well as a lipstick. So I feel like this won't take the whole year, but I don't know. It takes me so long to go through lipsticks. Then we've got another item from a previous project pan. And this is my CoverGirl MLA Stick Concealer in Light. Now, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot there, but because it's actually not quite the right shade for me, I can't use a lot of it at once, so this will probably be sticking around for a little while. Another lipstick, we've got Revlon. I believe it's Revlon. Or is it Rimmel? I don't actually know where it says anymore. I'm pretty sure this is Rimmel. Um, and it is 006 pink blush another item that I like to use actually as a cream blusher because on my lips I feel like this is just a really uh, baby pink and I don't really like how it looks on me not too too much left there but because I am only using it as a cream blusher another item that will probably be sticking around for a while and then I included my naked gloss this is my little deluxe mini from uh, the Naked 2 palette it came with. I really like this gloss and I kind of feel silly including such a tiny thing but reality is it's really old and because I like it I often don't want to use it as weird as that is I don't want to use it up but reality is I need to use it up. So I sat this down on the top so it's actually marked backwards I guess um, so when it all drains down that's where I'm at. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to finish this by the next update and that might be kind of a gimme product but I feel like considering all the other items I've got that are gonna be sticking around for a while I needed a little extra motivation with this one I've got my Marcel smoke liner nothing wrong with this liner I quite like it but I found this kicking around in one of my makeup brush mug holders um, and I actually forgot I had it and I figured if I can forget that I have it I probably don't need it in my collection um, I really don't bother using like liner that often but it's fine it works good it's really old at this point but it's still performing all right but I just want to use it up because like I said obviously I don't need it if I can forget that I have it for like a year I'm probably pretty crazy for including this. I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to finish it, but I'm including it because I want to work on it. And it is the Dalton Outline and Shade. So it comes with one end that has a eyeliner. There's actually not too much on there left. And it's a nice neutral kind of granite, well, dark granite shade. And then on the other end, there is this purple shade and I don't, know that I want to roll it all the way up let's see oh there we go that's the end of it so quite a bit left there <sighs> I use this a handful of times in the past and I don't dislike it it's just not something I reach for so thus the reason why I am including it I'm including my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek blush in Thumper this was in another project pan I wanted to hit pan and I didn't come close. Now I'm attempting to finish it completely. I have no idea that I'll be able to, but I feel like giving myself the full year to do it. Maybe, <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to. And then we've got another lipstick. This is my Rose Shimmer Lipstick. Um, the brand is Yves Rocher. And I actually really like this lipstick. It is probably my oldest lipstick or one of my oldest lipsticks um, it's still performing fine I've actually used quite a bit of it just I, it's never been in a project pan so all that considered um, I've used it a fair amount but it's just it's getting to the point where 
I probably should have gotten rid of this like a while ago. But I hate throwing out makeup, especially when it's still performing alright and it's not causing any adverse reactions. So I, I do need to focus on it though and get it out. And then we've got my little mini blush. Um, there's no name on it. It's been in another project pan. And because it's in such a small little pan, it's kind of hard to use. And so I'm also including my Clinique little mini duo with a blush here. And again, because of this small pan, it's hard to get my brush in there without dipping into the shadows. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mix this one, like both of these, with this in a bigger pan and repress it so that hopefully that way I can go through them both faster. And I do want to use up these as well. I don't have a matte brown in my Lisa chair and that palette palette. <laughs> uh, so I do like using this for my crease and I like using it for my brows and it's not interfering with my pan that palette. And because you probably saw that there's a good amount of pen on my matte white shade in the Lisa Watcher palette, I feel like I'll also be able to finish this up when I'm done the white. So those are the final two items in this project. Okay, I'm not 100% sure how I want to do the updates yet, um, if it's going to be every month or every other month. I do feel like I don't want to include all 18 items every update, so what I'll probably do is just include the items that I've made a noticeable amount of progress in at least. Um, do let me know if that works for you or if you have any other suggestions. Let me know if you're doing this project or any other projects and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!